chào mọi người hôm nay nhật sẽ giới thiệu một cái người rất là quan trọng ở The Beam Factory thì cái người này là quản lý gần như là hết tất cả các dự án Beam à, hiện nay ở công ty của mình thì à, đây là Paul Milwork thì mọi người hay gọi là bác Paul so Paul Welcome everybody to The Beam Factory I'd like to introduce myself and to introduce The Beam Factory to you Yeah My name is Paul Milwood I'm Senior Operations Manager for the production team My background is heavy industrial, nuclear, and petrochem. Mm. Okay? I've been involved in the BIM process for many years now, prior to it being called the BIM process, when it was called constructability. 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 So I was involved in that many years ago on early petrochem projects and power station projects, nuclear mm. power station projects, and wind and, pa- and coal station projects. We do, basically here at the BIM factory, we concentrate on 3D environment and everything to be in accordance with BIM requirements. Mm. Yeah, so if we, uh, more about you. So uh, how many countries that you have been working in? Oh, worked... Can I give some, like just a, li- bris- uh, a brief list? Okay, I've worked all over the world. <laughs> together I think it's about 13 different countries. 13. Obviously wow. with the power and industrial you move around from country to country where they are developing nuclear work or they're developing petrochem work so therefore yeah, you move around it includes North America, South America, Middle East, Europe, Eastern Europe and the Far East. Wow. That's a lot. That's a lot of experience. Wow. Too many years of experience. Too many years of experience. These days, too many years of experience. Yeah. But still. All right. So uh, then, uh, a little bit more details about uh, what are the types of work that we're doing here at the Beam Factory. Uh, type of projects. Okay. Share more about that. Here at the Beam Factory, we one of our main staple projects mm. is conversion of 2D documentation into 3D documentation, mm. 3D models, 3D outputs, right? within the BIM, co- uh, BIM modeling information mm. package. Right? So we do things from modular units to complete buildings, right? multi-story buildings, whether they are commercial or residential or hospital facilities. Mm. Right? We do uh, modular units, whether they are walls, bathrooms, kitchens, utility rooms, or full buildings. Mm. We also do villas for the Middle Middle East, Mm. whether they're small villas or whether they're huge multi-complex villas. Mm. Hospitality we're into, we do a lot of hotels, internals, Mm. as well as external architecture, Mm. facades, internal ID Mm. work, Mm. all of it working with other consultants all Mm. within a BIM 3D environment. Great. So, I like that. And uh, 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 when the newcomers uh, go to TBF, uh, I mean, can you share more to them how you are uh, managing the team here? Okay, we've got in theory three depart three sections. Mm. We have architectural section, we have structural section, and we have an MEP section. So whichever discipline you come in that you want to work in, or you can work in all disciplines, right? We will integrate you into that particular team. Right, with that particular workload, and you will also be integrated into knowing everybody else, right, and knowing how everybody else's discipline works and how it interrelates with your discipline. We will also ensure that everybody gets to learn and have as much training as possible from other disciplines and from people within your own discipline, so therefore your experience will grow tenfold oh. within a very short period of time. That's a lot of learning. Right. A lot of learning, yeah, but we allow that within your work process. Mm. We don't expect you to be sat there working continuously, turning on production. We expect you to be production and learning. Oh, so newcomers here, especially for fresher, uh, will have both uh, opportunity to work in their domain and also collaborate with other disciplines. Totally, one hundred percent. They can have an overall view of uh, what is the type, what is the building. Yes and uh, 
Yeah. So, yeah. The, so that they can they can come out into the environment, into the real world, and understand that it's more than their own discipline. It's more than their own environment that's taken mm-hmm. place, and that all environments interact. Mm. So therefore, we need to make sure that we want a team of people that can fully work coordinated together and ensure mm. that any projects we get, architectural, structural, MEP, or combine, all work efficiently mm. with everybody else. Yeah, that I think that's a very important point. Very important. If we work, you really want to work in a beam environment in the future. You need to have mm. that kind of experience. <coughs> well, not <coughs> pardon me, not just for the beam environment. Mm. It's very important anyway for you to be able to understand how buildings are built mm. and how yeah. everything interacts. Mm. Yeah, and that's not one individual unit, one individual part. Mm. I see. It's multiple parts. Okay, I think uh, that's it. Uh, thank you, Paul. And, uh, My pleasure. We'll come back later uh, in uh, other uh, interesting topics.